We will continue example three. Use a table to solve an equation. Um, use a graph and tables to solve equation x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals x minus 2. So we're still not solving by algeb algebra. Um, but in this case, we have one quadratic and one linear, right? So we're going to sketch the graphs and see the intersection points to find out the solutions where the values are the same for both um, functions. But if you look at the graph, um, it's not really exact, right? So the points here, one point here um, lies between 0 and 1. This point here lies between 4 and 5. It's closer to 4. But none of them really <coughs> correspond to a grid point exactly, right? So in this case, we can use a table to get more accurate estimates for the solutions. So if you have a graphing calculator, um, you can use the table function. If you have a, if you're using the online graphing calculator, <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me, um, you would just type in the functions. So first, we are going to type in our functions. <clears throat> y equals x squared minus 4x plus 1. And then y equals x minus 2. So we have the same graph here. <coughs> and then, in order to get table from Desmos, you have to go to settings, edit list, and then you'll click create table for each function. And then after you create the, <coughs> um, the table for the first one, you will have to click the settings again to create the second table. Okay. And then um, you can hover over it um, but it doesn't really show you the exact intersection point, right? So if you click this, <coughs> uh, when you're using Desmos, instead of using tables, this might be a better idea. Um, but if you are using table, you can see where the intersection point is going to be and type in your x values that are close. So <laughs> I would say 0 0.5, but that would be that would be negative 0 0.75 in the first equation. And 0 0.5 on the second equation would be negative 1.5. So they're not even close. So we will try to get closer by guessing higher decimals. And now it's getting closer a little bit, right? The y values are getting closer. 0 0.7 gives you negative 1.31, negative 1.3 here. So it's really close now. <coughs> so, yeah, 0 0.7 is really close. But if you see, it's a little bit off. So, 0. Point, to be more exact, 0 0.6972 would be the best solution. But if you were to guess and check using tables, then 0 0.7 is a, is a good number. <coughs> Yeah, so in graphing calculator, you will also type in your decimals um, using <coughs> your best guess. You will compare the y values and see if it's close. Because the y values are um, pretty close between negative z uh, between 0 0.5, 0 0.6, and 0 0.7, you will then go to the hundredth place of the decimals and try guessing um, the second digit of your decimal and you'll see that 0 0.69 and 0 0.7 would have the closest <coughs> y values between these two functions, okay? And then you can then go to the third decimal <coughs> and so on. So this may take a little while, 
um, if you're using tables. But this looks very similar to the guess and check process. Let's look at try, try number three and see if you can um, use a spreadsheet to approximate the solution for this equation. <clears throat> so see if you can do try number three. Pause the video and come back when you're ready for answers.